Hi, Tony. It's Paul. Uh, just wanted to give you a quick rundown of how to use your stack. Uh, so I've done a little film here, and I'll just talk you through it. So it should arrive in box uh, with the battery disconnected. So you'll notice when you open it up, uh, it will not light up. Uh, you will have a, uh, a screwdriver that ships underneath the insert there that holds the uh, holds the stack in place. If you lift this, that insert up, you'll be uh, you'll have the uh, charging cable and the screwdriver underneath that. You can see here I'm uh, just loosening the set screws. And uh, when you put those back in, you just want to make sure uh, not to over tighten. It doesn't take a lot. Of, uh, of force uh, and you don't want to mar the surface or, or bend the prongs or anything like that. So once you've got those unscrewed you should just be able to pull the top off and now there's a little plastic tab on the battery there you can see me flicking you just pull on that just to lift the heel of the battery out there and you pull it out and uh, attached to the battery there, you've also got the uh, the magnetic reed switch, uh, which is wired in there. But to, to plug it in, you just uh, connect the Molex connector and push until it snaps in there. The lights will turn on to show you that it's uh, powered up. And you can go ahead and just reposition the top cap there. Uh, it does take a little bit of uh, finessing to get it in the right position, uh, just for aesthetics. doesn't... Uh, it's not going to hurt anything if you, if you do it wrong, but uh, if you want to get the aesthetics right, you can try to line up those uh, those prongs and the surfaces properly and pinch it together and uh, and just screw those set screws right back in. Now, as I mentioned, uh, there's a magnetic reed switch in there, which uh, is used when you put it into the box. Uh, you'll see it's lit up, but there's a magnet in the lid of the box, which will uh, uh, turn the device off. It'll turn off the lights and uh, it'll keep it into uh, in sleep mode while the magnet uh, is present. And then when you open the box, uh, it senses the magnet, uh, uh, the lack of magnet, and uh, it goes back into standby glowing mode. Uh, with it out of the box, you can uh, also put it into standby mode by swiping it twice uh, over the, uh, the front edge of the, uh, of the box. Uh, the orientation of the piece is actually important in that. You want the prongs uh, facing the back of the box, and that's just so that the reed switch reads properly. You can tap once more to go back into glow, mic glow cycle, and uh, here I go again, just the double swipe to turn it into standby mode. Uh, everything resets uh, once the magnet's present for more than a second, so you put it back in, you close the lid, uh, one second later, it's ready to be opened and uh, go back to uh, uh, standby mode uh, through uh, or standby glow mode through uh, through uh, the startup mode, which is the the flashes to start. That's uh, that's about it. Uh, you'll see inside we've got an AT Tiny eighty five microcontroller, uh, one hundred and fifty milliamp hour uh, lithium polymer pouch cell battery. And, uh, and all of the, uh, the SMD LEDs. Um, if you do go for a version 2, uh, we're already planning to uh, produce a uh, printed circuit board for this design uh, that should give us um, more standby time, uh, more uh, lighting effect possibilities, um, and we're also considering uh, including uh, capacitive touch because it's got a metal frame on it. Uh, we can do a thing where uh, it will sense if you touch it. And so we could set it into uh, capacitive touch mode so that when you touch it, uh, the lights turn on. And uh, we feel like that would be a really cool interaction. Uh, but yeah, enjoy the stack. Uh, I look forward to future projects. See you around.